idiots believe content quality and value trumps delivery. Limited concentration spans in this age of distraction have made presenting harder than at any time in history. If you are not on top of your game, no one will be listening to your genius high value content. Welcome back to this weekly edition every Friday of the Japan Business Mastery Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, president of Dale Carnegie Training Japan and best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery. My new book, Japan Presentations Mastery, will be released soon. We are bringing the show to you from our studio in the High Performance Center here in Akasaka in Minato-ku, the business center of Tokyo. We are talking about how to own your audience. Before we get going, a quick word from our sponsor. If you want to become a fully competent and confident presenter, then do the High Impact Presentations course. We are all being judged when we speak, be it in the internal team meeting or in a public environment, be it the big bosses, clients, or an industry audience. Everyone is evaluating us. Don't blow it. Get the best training on the planet. Do the high impact presentations course now in either Japanese or English. Are you doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Bye. Japan Business Mastery, now. Welcome back. Okay, now it's time for the show. So let's get going. Can we be successful as a presenter if we don't connect with our audience? Many presenters believe this simply is not needed. This connecting lark is rather fluffy and irrelevant for them because the content is king. The delivery is a sideshow, a trifle, a distraction from the main game. Solid, high value information backed up with verifiable data is the mother load. Actually, that is not true. Solid, verifiable data delivered in a monotone, presented looking down to the reams of notes on the podium in a disinterested manner is a communication killer. No matter how good the goods are, it is not much help if no one is getting your message. Why aren't they getting it? They are on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Line instead. We cannot be so arrogant as to imagine our content can carry the day in this age of distraction. If you are looking down at your notes when speaking, then the most valuable data is being withheld from you. Watch your audience like a hawk. If you see them disappear under the desk scrolling with their device, then you can kiss your message goodbye. Look them right in the eye and do it for six seconds. Why six? Less is not giving us enough time to connect and any longer becomes intrusive. We start giving them sunburn from our intensity. So, the maths on that calculation are pretty simple. Six seconds means 10 people per minute. A 40 minute speech means we are constantly using our eye contact to connect with 400 faces. In a large audience, we may think we cannot connect with everyone, but we can. 
Those seated far from us will imagine we're looking at them, the actual person we are looking at, and the 20 people sitting around them all believe we are talking directly to them. Divide the audience up into six sectors, depending on the size. A smaller audience might become just three sectors. The point is, to ensure we visually rove across the audience and speak to every single person, no matter where they are seated. We are circulating in a random fashion around the audience, trying to draw them in to our web of our message. We can read their faces for reaction to what we are saying. This allows us to respond by varying our delivery, by using voice tone, questions and silence to keep them in the room with us. If we have their attention, then we have a chance of getting our message across. Even if they can't remember all that we say, they will never forget us. Getting both would be a wonderful result. Getting one is better than being totally forgettable, like most speakers. I hope you enjoyed today's show. And so please subscribe on YouTube. Share with your family, friends, and colleagues. Become a regular. Our website details are on screen now, enjapan.dalecanny.com. It's awesome value, so please check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we are releasing content six days a week. For podcasts, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentations Japan Series, and every second Tuesday for the Business Touches in Noah Share Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan Series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan Series, every second Thursday for the Business Pro Podcast Show, Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews, wherever you get your podcast. Also, every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Telebi Show. Every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And every Saturday, Japan's top business interviews on YouTube. We appreciate your support. Please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people build their careers and businesses. And please join us in that endeavor. Onegai itashimasu. Please join me next week to master business here because that's what we all want, isn't it? Japan Business Mastery.